Schools across Oklahoma, including Plato Elementary School in Duncan, are preparing for the fifth season, practicing getting to safety. Every elementary school and Duncan Middle are equipped with safe rooms or storm shelters, except for the high school. In the event of severe weather, high school students go to the safest place possible. Superintendent Tom Deegan says they are working to change that. Plans are already in motion to build safe rooms in the high school. We're not exactly sure when the safe rooms will be complete at this moment, but we are just now con um, choosing a construction manager to work with our architect on their design. For Lawton Public Schools, every building has a place to shelter, some newer than others. The entire sixth grade wing at Eisenhower Middle is a shelter, one of the most up-to-date and advanced storm shelters LPS has. And they're in a full classroom that's concrete reinforced tornado shelter, so it's the, it's the best of all the world. The new storm shelters, built in seven elementary schools and Ike Middle, all have access to fresh air in case power goes out. There's also a feature that gives the storm shelter a normal classroom setting. This window is rated to take on um, 250 mile an hour projectiles, so it's, it's a pretty safe um, system for a tornado shelter. A lot of time and money has gone into building storm shelters in schools across southwest Oklahoma. But time has also been invested in faculty and staff, making sure they know exactly what to do when severe weather strikes. By law, schools in the state of Oklahoma have to do tornado drills on a regular basis, and we have to report that to the State Department. All our teachers and staff train um, multiple times throughout the year on what happens if we do go to a shelter in place. Uh, so our kids know what to do and our teachers know what to do. Although schools are more than prepared for tornadoes, parents are understandably leery about their child's safety. While an early pickup may seem like the best thing for a family, school officials remind parents they may have to keep their children in a safe place at school until the storm passes. But what parents really need to know more than anything is if we do go to a shelter in place during school hours, that we ask them to be patient because our emergency management procedures won't allow us to uh, let kids go in a dangerous situation. Both Lawton and Duncan Public Schools seek advice from the National Weather Service and our First Alert weather team, so parents should trust they are getting the most accurate and up-to-date information. It's been several times that I've called KSWO and just asked the meteorologist, what's going on? And so KSWO's meteorology team has always been a great resource for us.